over the last few years I've noticed that I was starting to have some really bad reactions to all of my perfumes. So recently what I've been trying to do is make my own perfumes after I'd gotten rid of all the old ones that I used to have and two in particular have been my favourite so I thought I would share that with you today. To start off with I use old whiskey tester bottles. I like the sizes, I like the shapes they come in and I think they look really cute. <laughs> This bottle in particular, I cut a cork out to use for the top instead of the small metal cap it happed, happed, had. <laughs> and yes, it looks a bit rough, but I like it like that, especially once it's got a wax seal and a bit of cord on it as well. Aesthetics aside, the first thing you're going to need is perfumer's alcohol. Now today, because I've run out of perfumer's alcohol, I'm going to be using vodka since that's all I have, and I want to demonstrate why it's not the best thing to use. It will work, but can you see this? 90% of your bottle is meant to be filled with perfumer's alcohol and the other 10% are your scents or essential oils. Vodka, even if you give it a really good shake, won't dilute the oils. Instead, they're going to sit on the surface like this. So that's why you want to use perfumer's alcohol if you want to avoid having to shake the bottle each time you want to apply it. There are two recipes that I've done a lot. The first is my everyday perfume. This is a mixture of sage, lemongrass, vanilla and chamomile and it's a fresh citrusy smell that has warm undertones of vanilla and sage and it becomes more noticeable the longer you wear the perfume. So those initial citrusy smells are going to fade away and it will go from quite a fresh smell to something that's really nice and warm and comforting and that's why I really like it. And this is the mixture that I use for my everyday scent or perfume. The second one, this is my special occasion perfume and that's just got equal amounts of these three ingredients whereas before you had 3% and 2%. This is just equal amounts of these oils to make up that 10% that you need and I would describe this as a smoky citrusy floral smell which I really like especially in the evening. And that's it, simple. If you want a more in-depth post, I'll have that linked down in the description box where you can go to my blog and find a lot more DIY stuff which is covered in a bit more depth than I do in the videos just because with the videos I want to get to the point and then the blog is for people who want to know a few more specifics. As usual, I hope you like the video and I'll have a new video for you soon.